In the training slides and previous videos, we talk about breaking down our impact area into a couple of different areas. Our in overall incident area, branches when there's a large incident area, divisions, which are typically lettered, and segments. Segments are created by task forces to break down divisions into bite-sized chunks, typically for a squad to finish in one operational period. The advantage of using CERT segments is it helps us to manage priorities more effectively, allocate resources more appropriately, and assist in personnel and time management. We can use search segments to update the overall search progression. In this example, we'll look at a flood scenario in North Carolina. This is just an example. But we'd like to look at North Carolina flood data, and this is possible because North Carolina Emergency Management shares this as open data. We can use the Add Data widget just to get a scene size up of what are areas that we would expect to flood in a given scenario. What we really want to do is begin to look at areas that we can use as segments besides census tracts. In this case, we want to use Rowan County Fire Districts. So I search for it and I add it to my map. Notice the names of these fire districts appear as labels and are present in the data. Next, I'll want to turn off some of the layers that I won't be using for importing into segments. This will just help reduce clutter and reduce the chance of making a mistake later on. Now that data is added to my map, we can use the Smart Editor, as we've shown in previous videos. We can select which segment type we'd like to use, in this case queued. And there's a new Copy by Lasso tool, which allows us to draw the area that we're interested in. In this case, the area that we think is likely to be impacted by floods. Once I've selected those areas, they're ready for copying. Notice the fire district names are in here and we're going to use those in the next step. You'll see a new button down here called Fields Matching. This basically allows us to match up information from one layer that we're going to push into the other. The target is our segment layer and the source are our fire districts. And in this case we're going to use the names of the fire districts indicated by this field here and we're going to push those into the segment names that we're using for our operations. You can do this wherever it makes sense, but for now, just segment name is good. Click OK. Now we'll click Create Features. This quickly imports both the areas and the names of those fire districts into our segment layer. We no longer need these fire districts, and they're kind of obscuring our map. You'll either turn them off in the layer list if possible, or go back to our Add Data widget and we can click Remove or you could even refresh your map, and now we see just the segments that we selected. Now we can see the name of the fire districts has carried over to our segment name. If we zoom in a little closer, we'll see those appear as labels on our map. And this saved us a lot of time. We didn't have to go in and manually rename those. We still get those building counts as shown in previous videos. Uh, in this case, we just use fire districts because it made sense in this area. Um, you can Try this and experiment with other layers, including U.S. National Grid, census tracts, neighborhoods, uh, fireboxes. Basically, think about what's going to work best in your area or the area you're responding to and test it out with this tool. And if you need help, remember, ask a local GIS specialist. Thanks a lot.